Once you have downloaded and installed Kivo Connect on your computer, open the application. You'll be prompted to connect your device. Power on your Kivo by pressing down on the fingerprint reader until the screen turns on. Then connect it to your computer with the supplied USB-C cable. At this point, your Kivo will make sure it's up to date with the latest firmware. If you see a firmware update available, like we see here, click Install on your computer. Once the firmware is done updating, we can move on to creating an account. For these next few steps, we won't be needing the device, so let's move our attention to the desktop window. This account will be used to tailor your Kivo's features to your needs with our add-on services, giving you complete control over adding or changing a beneficiary, access to the Carbon Key Vault, and if anything were to go wrong along the way, Kivo Care would assist you with replacing or fixing things that may not be working as they are intended. So let's begin by clicking Get Started. Next, let's input an email and create a strong password. We recommend using some sort of a password manager to do so. One thing to note is that changing any settings that will directly have an effect on your assets will require additional verification from your device. Now, let's check our email for the verification code that was just sent to us input that verification code and click next. You'll do the same with your phone number. Check my phone and inputted the verification code. Let's continue. Now that we've finished with the connect account, we can move on to setting up the device. For the next steps, we will need our Kivo, so let's bring it back into view. Since we are setting up a completely new wallet, we will click on Set up new Kivo wallet. At this step, we're checking to make sure that your Kivo is a genuine device. Turn over your Kivo and enter the serial number you see on the back. Next, let's give our Kivo a friendly nickname so we can easily identify it. Now it's time to generate our private keys. Here we ask you to add some external entropy into the process. This makes private key generation more secure since we're not only relying on the device's random number generator to create your keys. You will never have to remember what you input, so get random. Here we'll create our password. You should make it stronger than mine. This is just for demonstration purposes. Let's confirm our password is correct. Next, we add a fingerprint. Make sure to capture different parts of your finger by shifting around a little. Services will have a dedicated video for setup. In this demonstration, we won't be setting them up. Now it's time to create our backup with the carbon key. Make sure your carbon key is properly connected and not at an angle. And then enter your password as well as your fingerprint.
you can now safely remove the carbon key. And that's it for setup. Thank you for choosing Kiva.